Welcome year 9 to the second part of our advanced calculator tutorial. This week we're going to look at adding the functionality for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, the equal sign and also our clear button. So to begin I'm going to pick up from, from last week. And last week you created all the buttons and when you clicked on a button you seen it was going to set the answer screen to whatever was in the answer screen multiplied by 10 and added that value. So for example 7 eight nine seven hundred and eighty nine has been added to the calculator so what i'm going to do is start with a button and i'm going to duplicate it just like i did for the other ones last week only this time it's going to be my addition subtraction multiply and divide so when i've duplicated that i'm going into the costume and i'm going to change that to the plus sign and i'm going to go into the code and if you look at your your notes for this it says what do we want to do when this is clicked well if you refer to your handout it says when the number is clicked we want to set the answer screen into that va value so set the number one assign whatever's in the answer screen into number one and then i want to set the answer screen to zero and i want to set my operator variable to addition so just to review that, you can hit pause in the video and you can look at this. But when our addition operator is clicked, whatever's in the answer screen, in this case it'd be 78999, will be assigned into number one. We then reset it and we've stored what operator we're going to do in it. I'm going to pause the video now and give you a chance to do that for your addition. Then duplicate it, just like I'm going to do now. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to change it to subtraction and the only thing I need to change in the code is set the operator to subtract so I'm going to pause the video and I'll do that for multiply and divide so we're back and I've added buttons for add subtract multiply and divide I'm now going to duplicate a button and this time it's going to be the clear button so I'm going to put my clear button here go into the costume change this to something like CLR and this is very easy. The code for this is we're just going to reset all the variables. So number one is going to be zero. Answer screen is going to be zero. The operator we just set to blank. And number two. Set number two to zero. So everything has been reset. So for example, if I put put in twelve and I hit clear, reset. I put in. 12 plus the operators went up here hit clear everything's reset so the final button today we're going to add is our equal button so I'm going to duplicate my last button doesn't matter which button I've done clear I'm going to go into the costumes change this to my equal operator and now for the program this is going to require selection if you look at your notes we're programming Look, if the user hits an equal sign, we want it to, if it's, sorry, if they hit equals, we want them to look at what's been stored in the operator and depending what's in the operator variable, if it's add, subtract, multiply and divide, do that equation. So when this click, the first thing we're going to do is set the, whatever's in the answer screen, we're going to assign that into number two. So I'm going to number two and I'm going to assign the answer screen. Then I need a selection. And I'm going to go into control and choose an if statement. And if, if you look at your statement, if the operator, so I'm going in here, if the variable, so I don't want greater than, and maths I want equal to, if the operator equals the plus sign, then I want to set my answer screen. To number one, well, I'm just basically going to add my two variables. So number one plus number two, and here we go. So let's test it, and we'll go for three plus eight equals eleven. And you can see three has been assigned into number one, eight into number two, and my operator, and then I can clear that. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to add my selection statements for subtract, multiply and divide. 
So we're back and if you look at the code now, I've updated this if the operator equals subtract, it's going to subtract. If it equals x, it's going to multiply. If it equals backslash, it's going to divide. And I can now test it. So two, take away one, equals one, probably not a great one. Nine, take away six, equals three. It's clear to go three times four equals 12. Clear that. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. And we've got a completely working calculator. Now, pause the video, rewind it, look at all the, the code that you're expected to produce. If you have any questions, post it onto the team. And next week, the final part of the tutorial, we look at the advanced mathematical operators. Good luck, folks, and thank you.